guess what we're doing? We're gonna go get tattoos. And I'm taking you guys with us. Eric and I had been wanting to get tattoos since we came to China and we finally had the time and we had a recommendation of a shop from a friend. We did not make appointments, we just showed up and it seemed to be fine because they took us right away. The place is called Nanjing Mingjiang Tattoo and that's probably butchered really badly. This shop is very catered to Chinese speakers as you can imagine because it's in China. So I had Eric as my translator and I highly, highly recommend that if you don't speak Chinese you bring a friend or someone you trust along with you to translate because you're gonna have a lot of trouble getting a tattoo with a significant language barrier <laughs> you can see my crazy faces here I don't care what anyone says tattoos hurt it's just the nature of the beast and the foot tends to be a really painful place to get tattooed one reason it actually hurt more than other times I think is because the aftercare instructions of this place are very interesting they actually recommended we kept it covered for like almost three full days which is totally different than what I've heard. So we kind of like half-assed their recommendation and then did our own thing, which is basically you need to keep it clean, you need to moisturize it, uh, make sure it doesn't form a massive scab. That's really the fine line you're looking for. You want it to scab over, but you don't want the scab to be one massive one so that when it comes off, it takes the tattoo with it. So this tattoo shop was incredibly clean. Um, it was probably even cleaner than the one I went to in San Francisco, which kind of blew my mind. The shop minimum here is a little bit pricey, but it is competitive with other shops nearby. It's 600 kwai for a tattoo, which is about 90 US dollars. So this guy was really professional. It's a really awesome artist. I think um, it all turned out really well. And he even touched up Eric's tattoo from Taiwan for free, which I thought was really awesome. After tattooing each person at this shop, they do take a picture. Um, and if you add them on WeChat, they will even send you a picture of you getting a tattoo from them. So they were really cool, really nice. Um, and I highly recommend this shop. And they had a dog there. He was like a pit bull type dog and we became best friends immediately. This is the first pit bull I've seen in China. So I kind of freaked out when I walked in and he's only 10 months old. So he was a total sweetheart. I will include a link to a blog post I wrote below that has more of like the exact location of the shop if you're interested in getting a tattoo while you're in Nanjing. And I'll also have more details about what it was like and the pain level and all that stuff in the blog post linked below. Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you soon.